at ABC and welcome here in my world, in my little bubble. So this is my YouTube channel, Aduke Africa, where I'll be talking about all my journey to Benin and my journey of rebooting with my African country of origin, Benin. So I grew up in France. I was born in Benin, Porto Novo, but I grew up in France and I spent some years in London also. So I have a background in banking and financial analyst. I still work as a financial analyst in banking. And one year ago, I created Aduke Africa. So where it all started? It all started as, um, as a travel blog for sure. I was expatriated in Miami for two years for a job opportunity as a financial controller. And I wanted to do, document my journey and share it with my people and uh, with my friend back home. And that's the way I created Aduke Africa to document my journey abroad. And when I came back here, it was during the pandemic and um, that's the way I started looking for more things I'm passionate of because being abroad, being able to go abroad, get out of your comfort zone, be in a country with only yourself, by yourself, and you have to count on yourself, that was a huge thing. And that made me think a lot about who I am as a person, who I want to be, and who I was becoming getting out of my comfort zone make me grow in some ways i was able to ask myself so many questions about my life and everything i will be doing and everything i wanted to achieve and who i am so after all this reflection coming back to france i had a project to build a blog because i was passionate about traveling a lot and I was so passionate that I even got a job abroad. Like, that's crazy. That's the crazier part of it. So I was like, girl, you like traveling too much. So you must do something creative about this. And also with other things that happened, I also wanted to be more close to my roots, from more to Benin. And when I was back a few months later, like four months after coming back in October 2020, I went to Benin. Not for, it was not my first trip, but maybe my third trip, and I would decided to spend a month over there. So I have a whole planning of activities to do. I interview bloggers or, or around there to help me plan this trip. And this trip was about rebonding and making Benin in mind because I used to go stay in town and do nothing, and then I went first time. After I left the country with my, I was 20 when I went back with my dad. It was a family trip. We did like, we didn't really nothing. We were just about family, rebounding. That was the first step. The second step was me by myself, bold enough in 2028, four years later. No, yeah, four years later. Yeah, I just went back and uh, I was just getting accustomed to the city and the um, Porto Novo and Cotonou. I focused on those both cities. I didn't want to go too far. And I was taking little steps, staying with my family, going to the beach, doing little things. I was not into a lot of activities. I was like breathing, taking the temperature. And then for the third tip, I was ready to go on. I will have a all program for South and Central Benin. And I was ready in 2021 to very like go into deep explore my way because i used to travel a lot and i wanted to explore my culture and my country of origin a lot deeper so that's how this trip happened and after this trip i was like i love this this is so about me this is meaningful impactful for me and that make me whole again i felt something i never felt before and i was like I might not be the only one in Europe who grew up with such a misunderstanding about where they are coming from, how wealthy the culture is, and how it is grounded in us. And 
I might not be the one, only one having doubt and fear about going back. And I would love to help those people because we are interested. We go to a lot of African events here. We try as we can from here to connect. And, but it's still difficult for us to go back sometimes. And I want to, to, to support these people throughout the project or something. And I already had the blog I do catch from the journey. I was thinking a lot like, what should I do? And that's the way in like February 2021, I think, I just came back from my trip and I decided, Adi, let's do this. I want to build a firm that support this. I didn't know how and when that's the way I just enroll in a training program about creating a digital brand and uh, that's the way Aduka Africa was born in 2021. I have more clear idea about who I am, what I'm going to do and how I'm going to help my people through my own story to be born with the country of origin. I, I want African from the diaspora who grew up here without traveling a lot to the country of origin but who have African parents who like share with them and pass down to them the culture to be able to overcome the fear and doubt and go back and sit by themselves step by step and make their journey on their own terms to rebond and reconnect with their country of origin. So that was one of my main goal. And that's how Aduke Africa was born in May 2021. And it was all about helping African young adults from the diaspora who have African parents to overcome the doubt and fear to gain a deeper connection with the African country of origin. And we want to do this by providing them tools, resources, and granted travel experience through the lens of my own journey with Benin and with what Benin have offers. So that's why I started sharing more and more content on Benin on my one month trip, doing a lot of storytelling about this country. I wanted to bring visibility to a country that's not well known, but that should be because Benin, people know Benin for voodoo, people know Benin with a lot of fears. And the thing is, it's the one of the most authentic African country where they manage to balance their ancestor belief and the relation. And before judging some things, we need to know more about it. So I wanted to like break all those belief and absorption on Benin. And that's the way about share. That's the way I thought by sharing my story, who I am and put, making more content on Instagram. But like Benin was like a normal country. People live normally. We have fun. We're very charming. You have amazing landscape. You have a lot of activities to do. You can live your best life there. Benin is all about the soft life energy for real. All about the soft life energy and relaxing. This is a country you go to relax. You can party. Let's be real. You can party in Benin. I haven't started sharing your content on this, but you can. I will. But you can do so much for sure. But I think the main thing about Benin is peaceful, relaxing, is where everything is so soft and people are very charming. So that's that's the thing. And the mission of Aduke Africa, my brand and my firm, is changing the narrative about traveling to Africa. That's our mission. We want to change this narrative. We want to help them overcome the doubts and fear and gain a deeper connection with the African country to our tool, resource, and currently travel experience. And our vision is a world where African countries utilize their full potential to rise economically. Benin is so much full of potential and is so more not exploited. But the government are making a lot of investment in tourism in the last five years, and that's unbelievable. But we still lack of visibility. And the country is very 
full of amazing germs that I will, I will be sharing a lot of germ a lot of my journey back and forward here but like full of beautiful and calm places and it's one of the country where you can do tourists and be alone like we still like have a something very private about enjoying every touristic site because there's no a lot of people but maybe when there will be more people it won't be easy to be so calm and to relax uh, at every touristic place but it's a challenge so what are the kind of tools and resources we we, we um, propose and we offer to provide to you uh, we have a travel itinerary available in French and English. By the way, I'm bilingual. Benin is a... I would do another video about presentation on Benin, but Benin is a French-speaking country, but I'm Yoruba from Porto Novo. And until seven, I was often in Lagos seeing relatives. So, and I moved to London first, two years before France. So that's the way I'm bilingual. I'm very fluent in English and French. And that's the way I'm doing this channel. But the travel itinerary on Benin covers South and Central Benin. It's a very innovative tool with like geolocalization uh, tool in it that will help you use Google Map to go at any touristic site by yourself. It's very good for solo traveler, people who like wandering around by themselves. Then you have a concerted call since I've been wandering a lot in Benin even this year I spent like five months over there living there I built up a lot of intel and a lot of resources that I would be able to share with you to guide you through your Benin trip and you will be able to plan this trip with ease that's something I also provide a private consultant call 101 with me to help you build and uh, design your travel itinerary and i can make anything happen for real i have a lot of contact and i'm working with a local travel agency over there that will help you and guide your step to make you spend the enough forgettable journey over there and i'll launch my master class this month is uh, master class is how to efficiently plan your trip to Benin in less than two hours and this is a masterpiece that makes two of my universe finance and my passion for travel because I will get I will help you have a right mindset overcome all your fears and doubt you can ask any question I will give you all the security tips that you need because Benin is a very safe country I, I don't think you need security but you need maybe reassurance from a local to say like this country is good you need to have the open mindset because the culture is so rich and diverse and also we will, second part of the master class will be about the budget like we i'm going to give you a takeaway you will have the detailed budget about Benin spending two weeks there accommodation transportation food activities anything will be detailed in a two week starter pack budget that you will go with but you will also learn how to budget your life how to budget your way to save money daily i will be sharing like my real financial skill with you to help you save money to travel or for your investment or your personal personal needs they will be this will be a lifetime skill that i will be sharing with you and the third part of the masterclass will be about um, activities for sure. How to plan activities. We will build a travel planner with you guys. You already have a starter pack travel planner for two weeks in Benin, covering South and Central Benin for sure. But I will, I will share you my skill and how I build my activities. And we'll go through that. And at the end, you will have saved money and time. You will have gone from overwhelmed with the research on Google to, to traveling with ease and confident to Benin. So it's all about going from zero, zero, zero hassle and getting 100% of ease throughout your trip planning. 
So that's what Aduki Africa is about. So I'm making this is my introduction video about me and about my brand Aduki Africa and what type of content you will be seeing here. It's a lot about vlogging, focus on Africa, mainly West Africa. I'm trying to go a lot for Benin since it's my African country of origin to inspire people to through the lens of Benin to travel more to the African country of origin. But you will be seeing also a lot of West African country, Ghana, um, Ghana, Togo, Ivory Coast. I will be covering this through all my journey here and we'll be sharing about you tips and letting you know what's popping in Africa. Like we can make Africa and West Africa and all those countries a dream destination. And I'm the kind of people who's like, I want to know my country back and forth first without knowing everywhere in the world. I used to be so going everywhere, traveling every time. And I'm like, are you going to die not knowing your own culture, your own roots, what this is about, what it's like living as an African? And you are just going to be stuck here, trying to live the African way here. It's a good way, but like, I want something very authentic. And I wanted to rebound with my country of origin. So this is an introduction, later introduction video about me and Aduka Africa. But I think I will do more about my story. We will be more deep in my story and also more about, um, about the type of content I will be sharing here. So thank you for listening to me, guys. I invite you to join me on this journey. You can just subscribe to my YouTube channel and, uh, and uh, that would be great. And kiss to everybody. Hope you're having a great time. Have a blessed day, Africa lovers. And don't forget, Africa is already the future. Africa does not wait for you. <laughs> the, like, the trend and the mission is already on points like people are going for it so when are you joining us i think everybody needs to make what he can at his own scale and this is what i can do at my own scale for my country of origin benin and i invite you to do what you can at your own scale and i think all this added effort will just blown away at some point so hey africa lovers have a blessed day